I mean, just look how fluffy that is. Really, really good. Nice and fluffy right there. Look at that. Welcome back, everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're going to be making a side dish that is a must-have when it comes to Mexican food. That's Mexican fried rice. This is a such an easy recipe, but it's so delicious, and it goes with all your food when it comes to Mexican food. So no further ado, let's get into the recipe. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ring. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. For our ingredients, this is actually the recipe that I make every time I make this recipe uh, for my family. I have a little bit of rice left over, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have a side dish left over. That way you can, if you're cooking something else, you, you have some to be able to use. Now I use two cups of long grain white rice. You're gonna need a can of tomato sauce and you're gonna need some water, which actually what I do is I take the can of tomato sauce, put it in the, the measuring cup, and then I'll fill it up to four cups, the rest of water. So that way you get the tomato flavor in there and then you get the correct measurement of water and or liquid that you need for your rice. Now this, this is Norse chicken bouillon. All the women in my family make the rice like this. They have their water, their tomato sauce, and then they use Norse chicken bouillon. If you have chicken broth available, it is okay to use chicken broth, and you don't have to use this. This adds a good flavor to it. It seasons it well, but uh, I never have you know chicken broth on hand. You know I don't boil a whole lot of chicken. When I actually worked in the restaurants, uh, we did we boiled a lot of chicken for. Uh, one of the dishes, uh, mole, uh, chicken mole, and they would, you know, boil it. They would add onion, garlic, and cilantro and other spices into the mix uh, to kind of help season the chicken. So it, when I worked in the restaurant, we had a lot of chicken stock available, but uh, this comes in handy. I, I don't usually have chicken stock available, so this is what I use. And a little tip, I like to have a habit of washing my can tops because, you know, these are handled by people and, you know, they have dust on them, their germs on their hands and stuff like that. So get into a habit of washing the top of your canned goods. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just open this up. See the reason why I say to wash your canned goods because you're getting your food touching the top of the lid. Go ahead and take that off. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour this in to our measuring cup. Now we're gonna take our tomato sauce and measuring cup and we're gonna fill it up to four cups of water with warm water. All right, just as so. Now before I started getting a lot of experience cooking, you know, in the restaurant and stuff like that, uh, I would always be opening up the pot to see if it's done. And the reason why is because I had a lid that wasn't see-through. As you can see, this, this has a lot of use on it. I've had this pot for quite some time. This pot is my main pot that I use for rice. And when you're making your rice, you do not want to be opening the lid because you're not, you're letting all that steam, all that heat out. So it is very beneficial to have a see-through lid when you're making rice. So let's get to cooking. Okay, we're gonna turn our heat to about medium high heat. We're gonna go ahead and lay down about a couple tablespoons of cooking oil. This is just uh, vegetable oil. All right, to check your rice to see if it's up to temperature, you wanna go ahead and just drop a couple pieces of some rice in there. As you can see, it's getting nice and fried, so we're gonna go ahead and add our rice. Now this is gonna add a toasty flavor to our refried rice. Just wanna kind of golden brown these. Now that we have our rice incorporated into the oil, we're gonna just go ahead and let it sit for a minute, let it toast up, and then give it a shape. Go ahead and give it a stir. As you can see, the, the difference in the rice is. Let it sit for just a little bit. Kind of let it brown up that rice a little bit. Okay, give it a nice another stir. As you're gonna see, some of them are starting to turn lightly brown. Okay, so let it sit for a little bit more. That way the bottom rices can get a little bit of toast on there. 
As you're gonna see, you're gonna start seeing more golden brown. So at this moment, you wanna stir a little bit more frequently as the rice toasts, because uh, they do burn, so keep that in mind. Once you see a little bit more browning in your rice, you wanna just go ahead and keep that spoon you know, moving. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add in our water with the tomato sauce. Be real careful, because that steam does burn. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our Norris chicken bouillon. Like I said, if you have chicken stock, you don't have to worry about the, the chicken bouillon. Go ahead and mix that in. Now a little tip, the women in my family, they add different things into dishes. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be just this. My mom, my aunts, they add cilantro in it sometimes. You know, give it that cilantro fragrance. Um, you can add in some onion slices to give it like an onion flavor. Or you could do like uh, carrots and celery. You know, there's many different ways, many different things that you can add into your rice. But this is just a basic rice, you know, basic Mexican fried rice that, you know, you could use for your dishes. So since we are at medium high heat, I'm gonna bump the heat up to high to get this boiling. And then once we get it boiling, then we're gonna go ahead and cover. Now that we got it to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and cover and we're gonna put the, the heat to the lowest. Now we're gonna let this cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. Now at the end of it, I'll kind of give you an idea what to look for using the glass so that way you know that your rice is done. So we'll come back in about 12 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. All right, see you then. All right, so our 12 minute timer has expired. Now there is a lot of liquid still on top. So I'm gonna let this go for another couple minutes. Now that's something with rice, you just gotta let it do its thing. You know, once all that steam gets out, then your, you know, your rice is fully cooked. Mm -hmm. But uh, no opening, don't be lifting up the lid. You wanna just let it do its thing, keep it closed and let it steam out. So I'm gonna give it another couple minutes. All right, so after about 15 minutes, this is what we're looking like. That's why I like the glass top because I can actually see what's going on. I don't see any bubbling on top. You got one just like a little one right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. Now it's gonna continue cooking while, you know, while it's closed. So what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna you know, steam out you know, the remaining of the moisture. So I'll just go ahead and turn it off and just let it do its thing. So I'm gonna give this probably about like another six minutes with the flame off and then we'll go from there. And then you're pretty much your rice is done. You know, cutting it off early helps prevent from burning on the bottom. So that's, that's just something that I learned uh, how to do rice. My aunt showed me how to do rice a long time ago, you know, when I was younger. And like she said, just let it do its thing. You know, don't mess with it. Don't, you know, take off the lid because if I take off the lid, then it's gonna let off some of that heat. That heat is gonna continue cooking so that you can get a nice fluffy rice. So I'm gonna let it just sit for about six minutes or so, just until that, you know, moisture evaporates and then we'll serve it up. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes of just resting. There you go, nice fluffy Mexican fried rice. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm also cooking something else, so, you know, that's why I just let it sit and do its thing. So let's give this a taste and let you know how it is. I mean, just look how fluffy that is. Really, really good. Nice and fluffy right there. Yeah. This has been a recipe in the family for many, many years, and I'm gonna continue on sharing this with my kids. Really good. Got fluffy rice, really good flavor. Comes out perfect every single time. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section, so that way you can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com, to get the full printable recipe. I have these recipes, they're really good, and you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful, and take care.